While the past few lessons have focused on matter, equally important to chemistry is matter's counterpart, energy. In this lesson, we will discuss two kinds of energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic and potential energy are the only two kinds of energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. Potential energy is energy that is stored, such as in a battery or a compressed spring. In chemistry, when we talk about kinetic energy, we specifically mean heat. On the microscopic scale, heat manifests as moving and vibrating atoms. In chemistry, when we talk about potential energy, we usually mean chemical potential energy or energy stored in the arrangements of atoms. Chemical potential energy is more difficult to understand than gravitational potential energy, but it becomes easier if we imagine that chemicals want to form favorable bonds. Oxygen is a perfect example. Oxygen is very reactive because it wants to form bonds with atoms like carbon and hydrogen. A mixture of oxygen and hydrogen is loaded with potential energy because the oxygen is just dying to form some bonds to hydrogen. Kinetic and potential energy can be interconverted, such as when a cyclist starts rolling down a hill. Similarly, chemical potential energy stored in a system of hydrogen and oxygen is converted to kinetic energy when it reacts. When this oxygen can finally form those favorable bonds to hydrogen, the chemical potential energy is converted to the kinetic energy of heat. We'll see in chapter five that energy can never be created or destroyed. It can only be interconverted between these two forms.